Hello, everyone. I guess you are surprised to see a new face here. Well, I am Lan Chun from Beijing Foreign Studies University. Starting from Lesson Sixty Five, I shall be with you and help you with the study of the rest of Book Two. I hope we shall have a great time together. 大家好，我是北京外国语大学英语学院的蓝纯。从第六十五课开始，我将陪伴大家的学习。希望我们在一起度过愉快的时光。Well, lesson sixty-five is titled "Jumbo vs. the Police." Who is Jumbo, and what happened between him and the police? We shall wait and see. But before that, let's have a brief look at the keywords and expressions. Versus. Christmas. Circus. Present. A company. Approach. Ought. Way. Fortunate. Now we can sit back and enjoy the story. 不过请别忘了，在看过动画之后呢，我们还要就课文的内容回答问题。我们的三个问题是这样的 ：How did Jimmy Gates set off down the main street of the city? Jimmy Gates 是怎样开始在城市的主道上行进的？ What did a policeman tell Jimmy Gates? 警察告诉 Jimmy Gates 什么 ？Did Jumbo move off the main street himself? Jumbo 是自愿离开街道的吗 ？Last Christmas, the circus owner Jimmy Gates decided to take some presents to a children's hospital. Dressed up as Father Christmas and accompanied by a guard of honor. Of six pretty girls, he set off down the main street of the city, riding a baby elephant called Jumbo. He should have known that the police would never allow this sort of thing. A policeman approached Jimmy and told him he ought to have gone along a side street, as Jumbo was holding up the traffic. Though Jimmy agreed to go at once. Jumbo refused to move. Fifteen policemen had to push very hard to get him off the main street. The police had a difficult time, but they were most amused. Jumbo must weigh a few tons," said a policeman afterwards. "So it was fortunate that we didn't have to carry him. Of course, we should arrest him." But as he has a good record, we shall let him off this time. Well, did you enjoy the story? I did. In fact, as the policemen were most abused by Jumbo, I was also most amused by the policemen. Now let's see if you've already got answer for the three questions I raised earlier. 我们的第一个问题是。How did Jimmy Gates set off down the main street of the city? 回答应该是 ，He was dressed up as Father Christmas and was accompanied by six pretty girls. He set off down the main street, riding Jumbo, a baby elephant. 我们的这位 Gates， 他装扮成圣诞老人的样子，身边有六位漂亮的女孩作伴。然后骑着一头名叫 Jumbo 的小象，就浩浩荡荡的出发了。第二个问题 ，What did a policeman tell Jimmy Gates? Well, he told Jimmy Gates he ought to have gone along a side street because Jumbo was holding off the traffic. 警察上来说，这个小象阻碍了交通 ，Jimmy Gates 应该走一条小道。The last question. Did Jumbo move off the main street himself? No, of course not. He was unwilling to move, and eventually he was pushed off the main street by fifteen policemen. 小象当然不肯离开热闹的主道了。最后是十五个警察合力把他推下来了。So that's the story between Jumbo and the police. 
Who said animals can't think? I'm sure Jumbo had his own logic. Of course, it was greater fun to walk along the main street than along a side road. 好，下面让我们一起来看看课文中的语言点。首先，请看课文中的这句话 ：Dressed up as Father Christmas and accompanied by a guard of honor of six pretty girls, he set off down the main street of the city, riding a baby elephant called. Jumbo. 我们首先来分析一下这个句子的结构。该句是一个过去分词短语 ，dressed up as Father Christmas and accompanied by a guard of honor of six pretty girls 来开始的。这个过去分词短语在整个句子中是充当状语。真正的主要的成分在这儿。He set off down the main street of the city. 然后呢，又记忆一个现在分词短语 ，riding a baby elephant called Jumbo。这个现在分词短语表示伴随性动作。好，在结构讲述清楚了之后，我们再来看看这个句子中的 dress up、Father Christmas 以及 set off。dress up 的意思是装扮成，请再看两个例句。He dressed up。As a pig, 他装扮成一头猪。That evening, they both dressed themselves up in fancy clothes. 那晚，他们都穿上滑稽的衣服，把自己装扮起来。课文中的句子还出现了 Father Christmas。大家都知道 Father Christmas 是圣诞老人。不过你们知道吗？圣诞老人还有一个正式的名字，叫做 Santa Claus。He is an imaginary old man who has a long white beard and wears a red coat. 他是一位长着长长的白胡子的老人，身穿鲜红的外套。He is believed by children to visit them at Christmas to bring all their presents. 全世界的孩子都相信，在圣诞节的时候，圣诞老人会从烟囱里钻进来，给他们带来美妙的礼物。好。那么刚才课文中的那句话还有另外一个词组值得我们关注，那就是 set off。set off 的意思是出发，请大家再看两个例句。We set off on another four-hour trek through the swamps. 我们又开始了穿过沼泽地的另外一次四个小时的旅程。Dan set off down the mountain to find help. Dan 开始爬下山去寻求帮助。再请看课文中的下面一句话 ：He should have known that the police would never allow this sort of thing. 在这句话中，我们不仅出现了情态动词 should， 并且后面是出现了动词 know 的现在完成时。那么 should。和现在完成时搭配，表示本应该怎么样，而却没有做到怎么样。再请看课文中下面一句话 ：He ought to have gone along a side street as Jumbo was holding up the traffic。请注意，这句话中出现了一个动词词组 hold up。hold up 在这儿的意思是阻碍交通，当然不仅交通可以被阻碍。另外还有一些事情也可以被 held up， 也就是被 detained。请大家看相关的例句。The whole thing was held up about half an hour。整个事情中断了差不多半个小时。These slogans persuaded her to hold up the procession。这些个标语迫使她不得不中断行程。好，再来看看这一句很简单的话 ：Jumbo must weigh a few tons. Weigh， 请注意是动词，意思是重达。那么 weigh 的名词形式是 weight，w e i g h t， 意思是重量。请大家看两个例句 
It's made of steel and weighs ten tons. 这件东西是钢制成的，重达十吨。The old lady was five feet high and weighed almost eighty-two pounds. 老妇人身高五英尺，体重几乎达到八十二磅。好，下面请大家看课文中的最后一个语言点。As he has a good record, we shall let him off this time. Let somebody off， 在这句话中的意思是从轻发落。请再看一个例句。He let me off with a reprimand. 他把我训斥了一顿，就让我过了。那么 let。Off 还有另外一个意思是免去某人的某件事情，请看相关的两个例句。We have been let off our homework because of the concert. 因为这场音乐会，我们被免去了做功课的苦恼。He believes that if he works all day, he should be let off. Domestic chores. 他认为，他如果工作了一整天，就不应该再做家务活了。好，这就是课文中的五个语言点。本课集中出现了 should, ought to, have to, must 这几个比较容易混淆的情态动词。那么，在下面的部分，我们就重点介绍这几个情态动词的用法。首先，请看 should。should 它的第一个意思是表示一种比较肯定的猜测，比如 ，It should be the postman at the door。门口应该是邮递员了。Jane should be in New York by now。这会儿 Jane 应该已经在纽约了。在这两个句子中 ，should 都是表示比较肯定的猜测。Should 还有第二个意思是最好应该怎么做，请看例句。You should listen to your parents. 你应该听父母的话。We shouldn't ill treat animals. 我们不应该虐待动物。大家还应该注意，当 should 与现在完成时连用的时候。表示本来应该怎么样做，却没有那样做。请看例句。He should have known that the police would never allow this sort of thing. 这句话摘自课文，意思是，他本应该知道警察是绝对不会允许这种事情发生的。Look at the trouble you get yourself in now. You should have listened to me. 看看你现在多惹了多大的麻烦吧！你早该听我的话。下面我们来看与 should 意思比较接近的情态动词 ought to。It ought to be the policeman at the door。与 should 相近的是 ought to 的第一个意思，也是表示比较肯定的猜测。所以刚才 should 的例句，我们可以用 ought to 来替换。比如这一句，门口的应该是邮递员了。又比如 ，You ought to listen to your parents. 你该听父母的话。还有 ，He ought to have known that the police would never allow this sort of thing. 在这句话中 ，ought to 已经是 should 的第二种意思，那就是本应该怎么做了。但是 ，ought to 与 should 也不是在所有的情况下都可以替换。一般说来 ，ought to 不会出现在否定句或者疑问句中，所以我们通常会说 ，Should I give him a call when I hear the news？ 我要是听到这个消息，是不是应该打电话告诉他？而通常不太会说 ，Ought I to give him a call when I hear the news？ 又比如。我们通常会说 ，You shouldn't be so impatient with the child. 你不应该对孩子这么不耐烦。而通常不会说 
you oughtn't to be so impatient with the child. 好，下面我们来看第三个情态动词 must. Must 的第一个意思是表示一种非常肯定的猜测，比如 she must eat too much or she wouldn't be so fat. 她一定是吃的太多了，否则她不会这么胖的。Our guest must have arrived by now. 这会儿我们的客人一定到了。Must to 还有一个意思是必须做什么，请看例句。You must turn in your papers before Friday. 在星期五之前，你应该交上你的论文。You must keep quiet, or he will lose his temper. 你得不出声否则他会发脾气的。下面请大家看最后一个情态动词 have to. Have to 主要用于表达迫于某种外界因素而不得不做什么事情。请看例句 I'm sorry, I can't come to the party because I have to attend a meeting. 很抱歉，我不能来参加聚会，因为我得出席另外一个会议。再请看来自课文中的这个例句 ：Fifteen policemen had to push very hard to get him off the main street. 十五个警察使了很大的劲儿才把他推下主道。好，这就是我们对于 must、have to、ought to 和 should 这四个比较容易混淆的情态动词用法的总结。那么，想想这篇课文的内容，讲的是。A baby elephant called Jumbo, and what happened between him and fifteen policemen? Well, do you think that animals have their own ways of thinking, of looking at the world, and do you think they have their own feelings? 大家认为动物是不是也有自己的思维，有自己认识世界的方式，有自己的情感呢 ？Do you think? We human beings have the right to manipulate them to do what we think that they ought to do. 大家认为我们人类有没有权利去迫使动物做我们认为他们应该做的事情呢？好，请大家课后想想吧。Thank you, and see you next time.